Hi, I'm Kaylin Schwamm. And I'm Michael Helton, and we are both students in Bellarmine University's Physical Therapy Program. Today, we'll be co-treating for a theoretical case study with a patient with McArdle's disease. And if you want more information about this case study, feel free to check out our Physiopedia page on McArdle's disease. All right, so Michael, Bobby's coming in tomorrow. He's our patient with McArdle's disease. What's the plan? Well, first let's remember who we're working with here. Bobby is a 54-year-old male who presents to physical therapy with a lifelong history of fatigability that worsens on exertion. He also is currently employed as a CPA, he's obese, he has a long history of alcohol abuse, and he smokes one pack per day. Okay, so what are our main goals? Well, he wants to remain independent for as long as possible, and he also wants to be able to play with his young granddaughter. Okay, we can definitely take those into consideration, maybe incorporate some energy efficient ways to get up and down off the floor and work on improving his aerobic capacity to keep up with that little one. Yeah, those are great ideas. I think it's important to prevent contractures, so we should probably start with some stretching. Absolutely. Let's target the hip flexors, hamstrings, and gastrocs to promote his ability to walk and then move on to aerobic capacity. Okay. We should also work until we hit second wind, and then we should try to reduce his recovery time. Absolutely. Do you want to start on the treadmill? Uh, yeah, I think we can use the RPE scale to monitor when he hits the second wind. Then we can track that each visit and monitor his progress. Okay. I think we can do a lot of patient education about living a healthy lifestyle and promoting movement throughout the day. Because he works an office job, maybe we can talk to him about getting up every hour or moving the printer further away so he has to walk more often or even parking further away from the building just to get in in the morning. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think we can also help him get in the habit of walking his dog every night with his wife and this will help him recover into his second wind. I also think we should address his smoking habits and his alcohol abuse. Okay, let's continually educate him about his disease and emphasize that he has to play an active role in the management of the disease. Mm -hmm. I also think we can incorporate some soft tissue mobilizations at the end of our session to help him relax. It might help him not be a sore the next day. Definitely. I can perform some effleurage techniques and target any of the specific muscles that are tight tomorrow. Okay, but um, remember, if you do some uh, effleurage techniques not to do any trigger point release as this may be detrimental and promote rhabdomyolysis. Yeah, I think that's a good point. How often do you think we should see him? Uh, due to his high rate of fatigue, let's try twice a week and make sure he's toler tolerating it all right. Okay, great. We should probably see him for six to eight weeks and reassess our goals. All right, sounds like a plan. All right, perfect. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow.